Rhodes rants on Star Wars. Today, let's look at an article where Oscar Isaac talks about The Last Jedi Backlash. Oscar Isaac has the best reaction to Last Jedi Backlash, hopes angry fans get inspired to create their own stuff. Oscar Isaac is gearing up to play his Star Wars character Poe Dameron for the third time in J.J. Abrams' upcoming Episode 9. But in the meantime, he has a message for all the angry, quote, Star Wars fans still upset by Ryan Johnson's The Last Jedi. The most recent Star Wars entry opened last December and faced backlash from some fans upset by the inclusion of more prominent female characters and some angered by storylines that diverted from popular fan theories. Isaac took an optimistic approach when talking about the backlash with Yahoo Entertainment. What I think is really special about the whole thing, particularly for people that didn't agree with where the story went, is it's often a great inspiration to do your own stuff, Isaac said. Obviously making their own Star Wars movie is a bit of a challenge, but at least from a narrative standpoint, maybe you can make your own thing and then show you show what you want make what you want to see quote I love that Isaac said of fans unhappy with Dameron's actions it's incredible because you have people actually engaging with the ethical question of war and what leadership is the last thing you want is for people to watch a movie and be like great then move on with the last Jedi the conversation continues and can stir with all emotion you're having a conversation about things that actually matter, you know. Isaac returns to the big screen August 31st in the Nazi drama Operation Finale. On a side note, his new movie looks fantastic. Um, I think they're tracking down one of the lieutenants, uh, last lieutenant, living lieutenants of Hitler. And it looks really good. Um, I'm going to tell you, this... Uh, website tried to make this about something it wasn't. Oscar Isaac made it very clear that he's got no issues uh, with the fan backlash and the reason I wanted to do a video on it is because Lucasfilm, this is how your employees should be acting towards the backlash. He did not demean fans. He did not attack fans. He did not go after fans. He said, if fans don't agree with it, great. Maybe it can inspire, inspire them to do something else. Maybe work on their own thing. Maybe improve it. Point being, unlike Ryan Johnson, unlike Chuck Wendig, unlike some of the Lucasfilm employees that have went after uh, Star Wars fans, calling them sexist and racist and yada 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 Oscar Isaac didn't didn't even attempt to go down that road and um, you know he deserves some credit for that he he did not in any way try to come after fans right uh, he said hey not everybody's gonna like a movie uh, hopefully this inspires people to, to get out and work on creativity you know make something positive out of it if you didn't like it he, he was like, you know, a movie should be something that sparks conversation, right? Um, so I appreciated that. I appreciated the fact that he didn't immediately start attacking everybody, um, like most Lucasfilm employees are. As far as I'm concerned, Ryan Johnson and everybody should be out of a, out of a job just because you attacked customers, right? Um, I mean, I really wonder who the hell is going to go see his trilogy uh, at this point. You know, really, the way he's treated Star Wars fans. Uh, but anyway, if you like these Rhodes rants, like, subscribe, comment. Have a good day. Peace I'm out. Yo. Well, I, well, I, I need a newbie. You can call me Devo. Only I'm a doobie. Northwest King, gentlemen.